find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. I know we only spoke like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> but this is a fresh moment, a fresh me. <laughs> you, however, are still so sweaty. <laughs> Sometimes <And> I like... <laughs> salty? <laughs> Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Alone together for the first time, you figure now Second is the perfect time. moment to show your personality to him. <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> Uh, neg him to show you. <laughs> neg him to show you. Uh, insult. It's insulting. Uh, oh. Yes. Okay. Um, insulting, wow. but you don't want to insult someone. It's insulting in the context of maintaining a relationship. That's a weird word. Uh, yes, it's weird, and it doesn't really make sense to do it. Okay, so we're gonna not. <coughs> uh, <laughs> uh, wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice things up. That would fucking, be that'd be heresy. He would kill you on the spot. Heresy. Yeah, he, he might apparently with this game. Um, Gently take your your head in his hands and rip you in two. <laughs> <laughs> this, this motherfucker about to peel you, peel you in half a long ways. Uh, that is pathetic. I guess so. We gotta, we gotta try giving him a, a new a, a ingredient. Let's kind of see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> a look of utter Face disgust. Face opens up, a chicken comes out the mouth and just kills you. <laughs> oh my god! He's a fucking xenomorph with chickens. Uh, yeah. You know what? Well. Oh well, yeah. We wouldn't have lost that much. So yeah, go for it. All right. Unless it auto check points here, in which case we're screwed. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. That was the third bite. I guess we're all right. We're in the fourth bite. Okay, this game is not as long as I thought. No, not really. It's each scene is about a chapter. I guess we'll allow him. Perhaps we suggest something that's already in the recipe, and then we'll th be three <laughs> ingredients in. <laughs> we opened the third eye, <laughs> and then he might actually kill us. <laughs> Just, uh, is the, you've seen too much. Oh, well, we completed the second chapter and we got access to the third chapter. So, do, And there's ten chapters. So do you learn all the eleven? Yep. Quote, unquote, things? learn. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, let's do it. I say, let's do it. Alrighty. You know, about that, I was thinking about your secret recipe. I don't doubt it. It has a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. You decide to show him that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. Oh no. Actually, I had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Improve it? You want to change my secret recipe. And you think you can do better. Fucking prove it. Have you ever heard of habanero oh, no. peppers? heard of them. I tend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero, poblano, cayenne. That's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and expect to improve it. Except the fact that KFC has both uh, regular and spicy chili. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll never tell. But no. <laughs> Are we the source of that? Oh. That's <laughs> <is> about... <laughs> that KFC. About balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. I didn't mean to... Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes. Not Wes. That is your real name. I am headed back to class for the next lesson. Ah, shit. That certainly didn't go as planned. I'll hate you forever. Better head back inside, but you wait a moment so that Colonel Sanders doesn't think you're desperately chasing after him. No! What is what? happening? All right, hold up. We gotta, we gotta backtrack a little bit. Rewind, right, rewind, rewind. <laughs> yeah, what is the third bite? Where did that start us? Is it after we've had a revelation yeah, from I think my foot's Cthulhu? Oh, that was oh, the okay, third bite, okay. Okay. Oh, 
we'll see you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like that. Well, we've, we've read this one already. We've read this already. Doom. I guess be modest but thoughtful. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But we'll wait for no to go. I'm out of here back. Do to do. With any luck, my my KFC will be here in 15 minutes. Really? Yeah. It, medic, was that yours arriving? Uh, yeah, but he's still trying to find the door. So. <laughs> ah, <laughs> uh, I guess this debunks the theory that they need light to find it. Yep. Uh, be modest but thoughtful. Oh. Well, I just want to oh, tell you that I really one. enjoyed your food. Now that you've got his attention. Flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery it was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, not Wes. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. That you know I'm going to be a big success. <laughs> um, we should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. All right. Oh, there we go. I wonder if you picked that same... Uh, if you pick the the middle option during the uh, the space scene or whatever, uh, if you would have got hearts instead of questioning him on the recipe, uh, maybe. Uh. Step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lessons will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Some master chef type shit. Is it one of the students in oven? Uh, like a a pressure fryer. Okay, I'm about to learn what that means. Uh, well, it's like a pressure cooker, but there's Probably a deep oil? fryer inside. Oh. Yeah, that's how KFC cooks their chicken, and why it's so unique. Ah. Why it's it, it, KFC is notably different than other fried chicken. Oh, like is it actually? Yeah, because pressure cooking is basically like flash frying it. Uh, and so that's part that of mean... the reason why it's like so suffused with oil and flavor is because yeah. it's like being pressure cooked but pressure fried. Huh. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Alright. My food has right. There we go. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh no. We have to show our stuff. Oh, what if I totally blow it? I You're not going to say blind twice there for a second. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> the last bit. You're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. <laughs> Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. Rough. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair up! <laughs> Naturally, love the, Miriam... love the stance. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, Miriam looks over to you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Oh! Oh, no, Miriam, I'm sorry. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you. If that wasn't clear. Oh, Do you want to be my partner? Oh. Your face. Sure, not Wes. I'll prepare our station. Hello. Without you as a partner, oh. Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students oh. quickly take notice. Hello, new partner. <laughs> we boobs. Oh my, two potential <laughs> partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I, I don't know who to choose. <laughs> it's look like, it looks like y'all have to pick for her. Friend duties could be a little awkward, but the price you pay for not being alone forever. Uh -oh. Who do you think, who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Absolutely Clank. <laughs> clank all the way. <laughs> Wouldn't put pop with anybody. No. I didn't like that even on a fictional character. 
Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will have to par will be partnering with Clank today. That's okay. I already ate. What? He was gonna <laughs> eat the food that you, she cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school <laughs> even is at this juncture. Mike is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Oh, oh sh up. Jesus. Clank. Fuck it. It ends up being. Oh, oh, hold there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. It's chicken. Technically, Clank might not even have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Dish you? I hardly know you. <laughs> Clank judders, and a panel shakes loose. I get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Or he's dying. Looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. Alright, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. Rough. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. Get the idea. Those uh, metaphors didn't make any sense. What? <laughs> that? No, it makes. It takes flint and steel to make fire. What? Yeah, two flints would not. Two flints is just rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Why is a chef an island? Which <laughs> dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Uh, steak tartare sounds easy enough. It's fancy. You don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. What okay, could so be this... the right answer? So, uh, well, since Stefan's never been to a KFC, oh maybe right, no, but th this is a, a, a query on a, what is a side dish at KFC. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Which like one this, of these is this a side isn't just dish? so <laughs> Stefan has to guess first. All right. I don't even know doesn't... what a steak tartare is. I couldn't what? even begin to guess what that is. Well, um, begin to guess what is a steak tartare. What do you think it is? I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a slab of beef, but like raw. But like raw. Because apparently you don't cook it. Okay. Okay. Uh, octopus is just. I don't think they do takoyaki here. <laughs> Maybe the Japanese uh, KFC does. It might. You know what? That is fair. That would actually. That sounds like it would be wild. Takoyaki batter with the the KFC spices. Oh. I'm sh would that is that was that a good will? I don't I know what that reaction. I genuinely was. don't know. Oh, okay. I'm like was that, that was just a wall. Uh, um, or your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. I'm gonna go with the grandma one because he mentioned the herbs and spices was a secret from his grandma or something earlier. Okay. Okay. So maybe we bond because we're 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 we're, we're both Mima's kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with mashed potatoes we, and gravy. We have the same grandmother. We're actually related. This is <laughs> oh my god! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This is becoming more and more ahead of me with every moment. Sweet home! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Kentucky. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, steak tartare is exactly what you think it is. It is raw ground beef. Really? Yeah. It's not quite pate, Ew. but it is is raw ground beef. That, isn't that incredibly uh, dangerous? Yeah, usually yes. Like the one thing I know about meat is that you cook it or you die. <laughs> but uh, well, no, no, it's not cook it or no. die. Isn't that beef well, like, is if the you, or, one... like if you do it wrong, you get salmonella or something? I don't know what the fish has to do with it, but like as long as long as you get your beef from a known source. Uh, you basically just need to kill the surface bacteria from whatever it's been transported on. So that's why there's a type of rarity called blue. If a steak is blue, that basically means it's been thrown on the grill to flash kill all the bacteria, and that's it. Like, it, it literally goes on the grill, comes off. And it doesn't change color. It really doesn't have any other look or change to it. The inside is completely raw. Um, but it's technically safe to eat because the meat itself, as long as you know that the animal wasn't sick, you can eat it raw. It's not a problem. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The thing with cooking meat is that 
there's certain kinds of meat have certain kinds of things that you need to watch out for. Like for beef, it is mostly just surface bacteria that like they get onto like a cut of steak while it's being transported. Aren't they sealed? Uh, yes, but it doesn't stop things from happening. Ah, uh, fair enough. Like in between like the, the process of cutting up the meat that you're exposing it to the air, which means bacteria is getting on it because bacteria is. Oh, it's it's and that then you okay, seal it. Okay. So that bacteria is not really going to grow or anything. It's going to sit there. And so when yeah. you open it, you got to flash kill everything and then you can eat it. Yes. Okay. And then and then after that, your your beef is cooked to preference. But because okay. and, and that's just a thing of beef. Yes, that's just a thing of beef, because the main concern with beef is surface bacteria. That's why in that's why uh, ground beef is a bigger concern with cooking and why it's divisive whether or not you need to well cook hamburgers or not because once you grind beef you're mixing in all of the surface bacteria throughout the the meat patty oh so that's why in canada here people don't ask how well done do you want a hamburger because i think it's by law you have to have it well done to kill off all of the surface bacteria that is mixed in with a patty. Oh. Whereas in the States, I, there is a laxer, uh, laxer culture um, around it, where it's right. considered more comparable to steak, where it's just like, uh, it's, it's probably fine. It reaches a certain temperature, and after that, they don't really care. But here, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but here in Canada, it's, it has to be well done to make sure. I mean, you could say the same thing with like octopus and stuff. Like a lot of, a lot of fish doesn't like need to be cooked. Hence, sushi. But the reason that we end up cooking a lot of it is to make sure that it doesn't have large growths of bacteria on it. Right. Yeah. But your stomach can handle it. Well, not your stomach. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> human stomach can handle raw meats just fine. Okay. Yeah. And there's different like different rules, cultures, and regulations surrounding different kinds of meats. Like beef, that is the main thing is concerned with surface bacteria. But with something like chicken, where salmonella is just a type of bacteria that's inside the chicken throughout, you kind of have to cook it all the way through every oh, time. Oh, it's just it's just a widespread... Yeah, it's just a thing that chickens live this. with, yeah. Oh! Okay. It doesn't harm the chicken, but it harms us. Yeah. So that's why chicken always needs to be cooked throughout because raw chicken is just a vector for salmonella. Mm. And the, the temperature at which salmonella will dies is the temperature at which chicken becomes cooked. Oh, well, that's awfully convenient. Uh, yes. Is it the chicken becomes cooked because the salmonella is gone? No. Because people like to eat things raw. I heard a yes and a no. Well, the, the reason <laughs> is that the... the um, the reason that that temperature is that temperature is because that's the temperature that tissue, organic tissue, begins to break down. And the organic tissue of bacterium is the same as the organic tissue of the muscle. Oh. So, because oh. like, bacteria is just a cell, right? And meat tissue is also a cell. So the temperature in which they both break down is the cooking temperature. Yeah. Uh. And then we have stuff like fish, where fish is about 50-50, whether you eat it raw or cooked or not. Depends on the kind of fish and the style you're eating it in. If it's farm-raised fish, they're not going to have any parasites or whatnot, which are the main concern with fish. So you can oh. just... So that's the stuff you would eat in sushi, because it's farm-raised, there's nothing in the water, there's nothing getting into the fish themselves. So you can just eat it raw. Whereas if you're catching and eating wild fish, like if you go up to a lake, catch a catch some perch and then and then cook them at home those have to be cooked because they're just fish out in the wild and they're definitely full of parasites but a cooked parasite literally That's... just disintegrates as it cooks oh okay i was so i was about the follow-up question i was gonna have is do you have to pick out like the worms and shit? no though like usually they're at a scale where it's not even visible to the naked eye and if they are bigger than that right. then just don't eat that fish Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not a, like, well, we've cooked it, so it's safe. It's a, that's bad, we should get rid of this. Yeah. But okay. at the scale that they're most commonly a concern with, so wild fish, if you go to, like, one of the lakes up north and catch some, and just catch some perch to eat. Right. You, you cook it, 
this parasites and bacteria there are at a scale where they're not really visible, but they can still do you a bit of harm. Mm. So you have to cook them. Okay. They're they're not sushi grade fish. And where's where's pork sit in the middle of that? Um, would it not be like a cow? I think similar to yeah, it's similar to beef. Technically, on but this spectrum of cooking and whatnot, it is similar to beef, but pork has properties of its own. Where it and pigs what? eat a lot more variety of food. Yeah, stuff can get into their systems a lot easier. Yeah, but pork's, I think, pork pretty uniquely has this property where it holds onto its moisture a lot better than beef does. So you can bring it to a temp what? temperature that kills parasites, but it's still usually rather moist inside. Oh, is it, and that's the, when people would say that this this tastes dry or this... Yeah. That's what they're talking about? The, 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 the juices and the... Uh, and the water inside the the meat evaporates with cooking. That's what dries out. That's what dries out food. This is a lot of info. I had no idea about all of this. Yeah, meat's meat's a complicated subject. It, it sounds way harder to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot harder to deal with than as ah, boil some vegetables. Yeah, uh, it's just it's right. just boil some tofu, eat some beans. It's true. It's, and it's some beans. with all of that. You need to make sure that the meat gets to the safe temperature throughout, because if the middle doesn't get as hot, or if you cook it in a microwave and then the middle is hot, but the outside's below the safe temperature, you know, basically Please there's a lot of ways to screw it up like and not, yeah. not make it safe. Oh, God. But like you could have leftover steak and then cook it, you know, heat it up the next day, but you still should bring it up the temperature because once you cooked it, it got exposed to the air after it was off the fryer or whatever. Oh. And then you put it in the fridge, which has bacteria in it too, technically. So it's been sitting in the fridge for a day. You should make sure that you don't just eat it cold from the fridge. Jeepers. You know, I mean, yeah. you shouldn't be doing that with most foods. Like, technically, yeah. your rice, you shouldn't just, like, put it in the fridge and then eat it. Like, you probably should reheat it and Make sure that there's not it's like cold fungus on it or something. Oh shit, my food's here. <laughs> One second. Oh, <laughs> we've been talking for so long. <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. Oh, no. ah, getting this KFC. This should be like its own video, like on the side. <laughs> <laughs> it just, just there's just like a cut in between, or it could, it could be like a. Like a little five minute, five five minute or uh, minute. Or, uh, I think I'm having a stroke. We've been talking for like 15, <laughs> 15 minutes. It's got to be like episode two point five. Just the it's discussion about thing. food. Yeah, it's its own thing. Just to introduce the series. I got food. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're food. Speaking of, I gotta say, my my rice cooker that I got has been great. The new one. Oh. It's ridiculously large. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can cook it's like what? You cook, you cook like what? Up to 16 cups of rice? Uh, yeah, I can cook up to 20 cups of rice. You're a maniac. I'm not going to cook 20 cups of rice in one go. Unless I'm like, I, I don't know, making an event or something. I'm gonna bring fried rice or something, but like... <laughs> the fact that this is even an option for you. The fact, yeah, the fact that it's an option. Uh, like, jeez. How big is this device? Does it have to have its own like stand? It has its own power. It uses uh uh a, it has its own like power cable. I have to plug into it. Uh, and it's the same uh power cable you use to plug into like your PC. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a ground and everything. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing fancy to it. It's just a big ass bowl, a steamer on top, and a lid. It's got one fucking switch, and it's cook or don't cook. That's it. 
<laughs> right. It doesn't do anything else. <laughs> uh, we're suggesting that this whole segment goes in its own 0.5 minute episode. Yeah. So coming back to the real gameplay. Three, two, one. Yes, yes, right. yes. Mashed All potatoes right. and gravy. Mashed potatoes, potatoes and gravy. gravy. Hey, I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, and comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. <gasps> and gravy. Oh, I couldn't imagine one without the other. Oh. Oh, well. Pretty good cheese potatoes that uh, my brother's old workplace made. I just saw that. Oh, what? Well, you didn't see nothing. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what you saw. <laughs> was I it my screen flash. And there oh. was something else behind it, but I don't know what it was. I th was it's probably just my desktop. Uh. Uh, Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please let me. Picking, a per picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. <sighs> Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? Absolutely. You, you and don't? And you don't, girl! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business, and you'd better keep your fingers off my man. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Did someone call for me? What is happening? The music? 